So let's talk about Swerve Strickland. He lost at All In. He no longer is the champion. Trevor, did this hurt Swerve in any way, this loss to the American Dragon? Absolutely not. Not, not, I mean, I know there's going to be critics that say yes. Oh, the, it, the narrative is spinning, by the way. People on oh, the AEW Barry Swerve Strickland. Oh, did you see it? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, it was like they Barry Swerve Strickland. Strickland. Um, he he lost to someone who who's over the hill. Oh, blah, 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 like over the hill. Come, come on, dude. Like Brian Brian Nance is no longer interesting. He was only interesting back in WWE and blah 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 blah. blah and I'm like. All right, <laughs> but no, what this did for Swerve is it is is very comparable to what the title did for Swerve. Mm. Explain you that. went you went in a match with quite possibly the greatest wrestler of this generation and his generation, and you went toe to toe with this guy, and you kept up with him. You had great charisma in the ring, great, great chemistry in the ring. Not, not many botches. Like you had great communication. It was a great match. It kept you on the edge of your seats. You honestly did not know who was going to win. Like unless you, you know, you know, you know, you didn't know. But anyone that tells me that that hindered Swerve, you don't know anything. And and most. Most of the the people that is giving all the criticism, they don't know much, but they're saying that this hurts Swerve. What this does is this this sets up Swerve for future match against one Hangman Adam Page, which is going to be amazing. Two, it also sets up a rematch that could possibly happen between him and Brian Danielson, which is going to be just is great, and. He's probably gonna win it. <laughs> like, come on, like this. They didn't. What's funny is people didn't say that crap back when, um, like legends were wrestling. Like, or like, oh, oh, that, I mean, Bret Hart dropping the belt to Diesel. That that that's gonna hurt him. Well, no, okay, no, it, let's not. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, okay, <laughs> all right now, now you're not helping the cause. I was, I was like, pop but, off, but you know, and then you, Bret Hart losing to Diesel. <laughs> Like, do not you know what I mean? It's the Bret Hart losing the Diesel, bro. Bret, no, I mean back in those days it was comparable, but it's not. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but you know what I mean? No, no, I, but, I no, no, fully, I, I fully understand what you mean. No, no, <laughs> so no <laughs> it's like, Bret Hart Diesel. No, Trevor, <laughs> you're giving them fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> they're gonna make the church angry. Um, <laughs> but no, like it's just one of those things. Like you know, yeah, stupid. No, doesn't make sense. But I, and I know you agree as well. This helps Swerve more than with more than it hurts Swerve. You're gonna see more great things from Swerve, and I can't wait to see who fights at Forbidden Door. That's gonna be fun, or Wrestle Dream for that matter. Here's the thing: if you watched, genuinely watched that match, and I'm not saying if you didn't like it. Like, here's the thing. It is well within someone's right to not like something in wrestling. That is just true. Like, like you, you. That is your own opinion. It is based off of like your own appeal for wrestling as a fan or whatever. Everyone's entitled not to like something or like something. That's not a problem. The issue is when you spin a narrative that is just false, right? And to claim that Swerve Strickland, for the majority of people who watch, came out of that looking buried. Or looking worse than when he came in, I don't think it has any merit to it. And I genuinely think there's only two real outcomes for people who believe that or say that. Either you're lying because you want to get clout online or whatever, which a lot of people have. Or two, um, it is a product of uh, you just maybe having the show on. And like being on your phone on the whole time or not actually watching it. It's the, right. only, it's the only two logical solutions there. Um, Swerve Strickland came out of that looking like a bona fide, cemented, approved main eventer. From the entrance Absolutely. to the way he came off, 
And if there's one moment in the match to point to, Trevor, it is when Brian Danielson hit that man with the psycho knee and Swerve Strickland bounces up and just shrugs it off. That was, yo, I was like, okay. Swerve came to play. Okay. <laughs> this this is a good one. I was like, this is good. This is this is good. Like, dude, like, I don't understand people. I just don't understand people. I get it. You don't like certain things. That's what makes professional wrestling fun. Like, because if everyone liked the same thing, it wouldn't make it fun. Like, you'd be like, oh, I don't care about this anymore. But no, it, it makes it fun. But to honestly talk about things that you don't understand or don't know, that's that's one thing. But to blatantly be ignorant about it is another thing. And dude, Swerve is fine. Swerve, Swerve is is set for a long time. That promo that he cut on Hangman too, the the dynamite after was also like exactly what it needed to be because it cemented like he is a main eventer. He said, I may not hold that belt anymore, but I'm still the champion around here. Like he's like, you know, like I, I'm still the guy. Like yeah, I'm still the guy. I'm I'm still him. And the, and the thing was with Swerve, right? And the question was, after he loses the belt, how will he come across, right? That's the big question about any new star that you develop. How do they look when they no longer have the belt? Do they still have that same feeling, vibe, aura, if you will, right? Do they have the same presence? Swerve has it. And it's yeah. it's just, it's there. He is, in this way, Swerve Strickland, moving forward, is a made guy in professional wrestling. Is is my my nephew says he's him, that, that that's him. That's him. 